Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the June 7, 2011 meeting of the Glendale Housing Authority. May we have roll call, please? Authority members Friedman? Here. Newkin? Here. Incy? Here. Razian? Here. Weaver? Here. Chair Quintero? Vice Chair Najarian? Here. Chair Quintero is unavoidably detained this afternoon, so I will be chairing this meeting in his place. May we have your report, please? Agenda for the June 7, 2011 regular meeting of the Glendale Housing Authority was posted on Thursday, June 2, 2011 on the Bolton Board outside City Hall. Thank you. Next item. Approval of minutes. So moved. Second. There's no objections or corrections. The minutes will uh, be approved as submitted. Next item, please. Next item is oral communications. There was one card submitted. Discussion is limited. Time is not part of this agenda. Each speaker is allowed five minutes. Members of the Housing Authority may question or respond to the speaker, but there will be no debate or decision. And the matter may be referred to staff through the Executive Director for Investigation and Report. I have a card from Herbert Milano. Good afternoon, uh, Chair Rotem Najarian, members of the Housing Authority and city staff. My name is Herbert Molano. I'd like to address some of the uh, quality of life measures as it pertains to the health of the community. And I'd like to pose several, um, several questions to you, uh, rhetorical questions. How do you quantify the unmet needs of Glendale's youth and their families? What percentage of children don't get at least one hour of physical activity each day? How many kids from age 7 to 17 don't have an adequate sports facility within a 10-minute walk of their home? How many kids don't have that access when measured by recreational planning area? How many adults don't have adequate parkland within a 10-minute walking distance of their home? Those are, are measures, national measures and standards that have been presented before the City Council in the past few years as to what constitutes a good community or a community that is paying attention to the physical and recreational needs. A 10-minute walk from their home, that's the standard. The other standard is six acres per 1,000 residents. And those are the measures that have been brought about to the City Council before you and, and documented and presented, but somehow we never get the outcomes later on with regard to are these policies being implemented and how do they fit, do we say, the land use element or the recreational element. And these are all issues that I think are worth reviewing on a regular basis. My suggestion is during the month that you're negotiating salaries and benefits and during the time that you're negotiating or looking at how to meet your budget. The opening of the aquatic facility, uh, Mr. Najarian, it just a, was a fantastic event. I went to see it on Sunday, and uh, it's just a tremendous pleasure just watching all these kids, you know, seeing and experiencing this summer in that aquatic facility. It's a thank you for your efforts in, in promoting it. I've, um, I think that, you know, you had a good hand in, in pushing this along, especially when you presented that there are so many other interested parties in searching for the city's money for their own interests and that we, someone has to speak and look out for the interest of kids and families that are not well represented. I'd like to bring your attention to um, uh, along those lines with, with regard to how we come back to bring those quality of life issues for your consideration and to set some guidelines. One of them was presented to, uh, by, prepared by the Glendale Adventist Medical Center. It's called the 2011 Glendale Comprehensive Community Needs Assessment. And I am suggesting and asking to see if perhaps you can take some time in the near future before you conclude your labor negotiations so that you can get someone to present to you at least a half hour or 45 minute presentation of the results of that study with regard to community health. It's an eye-opener because it also will tell us what are the unmet needs of the community that are fairly significant. And I think that when you present this and, and it becomes more widely 
available especially to the employees of the city of Glendale, specifically fire and police and management, that there are so many unmet needs that have not been funded, that these numbers are really an eye-opener. And for any of those that have a conscience, it should highlight to them how important it is that we revisit how you set your priorities with regard to the budget. You know, the opening of that swimming pool, I think, was a tremendous event. And it just is a tip of the iceberg, because in four years' time, Mr. Najarian, that swimming pool at $5 million is less than one-tenth of one percent of the budget that you've handled, should we say, in four years. That's, imagine, one-tenth of one, less than that. It's amazing. So I'd like to suggest, and if, you know, for the Housing Authority to get an overview of this report, to be displayed and presented to you and the public, before your budget negotiations are out. Thank you very much. Thank you. I have no other cards. Oral communications is closed. Next item, please. Next item is authority member or staff comments. Mr. Mincy? Yes, I also I attended the opening of the uh, pool facility, facility on Saturday, and I think four of us were there. Mr. Najarian was there showing off the pool and his sons. But um, it was, uh, I, if anybody who thought that wasn't needed only has to check because uh, the pool of the kids waiting to go in there went, the line went on and on and on. It was, it's amazing. And it was a beautiful facility and something to be proud of. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Mincy. Congratulations to this authority for, um, and the CDBG Commission for earmarking funds uh, for all those years uh, with the hope and the, uh, the confidence and faith that the pool would be built. And for those who aren't familiar with you know, how pools operate, it may have seemed like a lot of money to earmark and set aside and hold away from some of those other uh, social groups and uh, uh, community groups that were going to use it. But I'm, I'm very glad that it, that it opened. Any other comments? Okay. Uh, do I, we have any new business? No. I move we adjourn. Second. The authority is adjourned.